Welcome back to A to Z here on Locked On Sports Atlanta, free on YouTube and wherever you get your podcast, you search Locked On Sports Atlanta. Appreciate you guys joining me on this Wednesday. Give me a follow on Twitter at Mark Zinno, M-A-R-K-Z-I-N-N-O. Follow our entire network at Locked On ATL. This segment brought to you by our friends at Coffee AM. And I want to get to some scheduling notes about college football that I think you'll find interesting. Not so much if you're a Georgia Tech fan, but very much if you're a Georgia fan. But first, it is time for Shovels of Wisdom. Brace yourselves, because it's time for the Shovel of Wisdom. Uh, you know how we do it. We try to hand out a shovel every single day. Just who did it. So it's up and crack them right upside the head, set them straight, and correct them. Uh, you can do so as well on my Twitter account at Mark Zimmer. Just use the hashtag Shovel of Wisdom. And today, my shovel goes to Unilever. <laughs> Unilever um, is the parent company of Klondike. You know Klondike, the bar. Well, um, we have found out that Klondike has discontinued the Choco Taco. Oh, my God. The iconic chocolatey treat that has been sold for almost four decades is now being discontinued by Klondike, which they're saying is due to an unprecedented spike in demand for different Klondike products over the past few years. Um, okay, I don't care what your demand is. Give me my damn Choco Taco. I mean, this is just, just – America is really falling apart at this point. When I can't get a hold of a Choco Taco, life sucks. I mean, it, it, I mean, it's just perfection. It's a waffle cone shaped like a taco with vanilla chocolate ice cream and chocolate fudge. What are we doing here? You could, we had to stop producing that? For what reason? You guys are insane. I mean, somebody's got to do something about this. Forget supply chain. Forget inflation. Forget gas prices. Just give me a damn choco taco. How hard is this? This is nuts. What did we do as a country to deserve this fate that the choco taco is longer part of America. I'm not sure it's America I want to live in anymore, folks. I'm serious. We we have to have, we have to have some conversations. All right, I kid, I kid. Uh, back to business here with college football. Um, ESPN has put together their um, college football schedule superlatives, uh, and just looking at um, certain things about scheduling that are, that are hard, that are soft, that are interesting, and everything else. And I thought you guys would find some of this stuff interesting. Um, for example, you know, they have the toughest overall Power 5 schedule going to Arkansas. Um, they're one of five Power 5 teams, Oregon, Stanford, Texas Tech, uh, and Georgia Tech, that have two non-conference opponents in the top 25. Uh, that is insane, right? Because most people don't do that. Um, it, it, it is just hard enough to get through your conference alone with ranked teams when you're in the SEC. Um, to add two other top 25 teams that are not in the SEC, that is a brutal, brutal schedule. Easiest overall Power 5 schedule goes to Virginia. Uh, I'm just giving you a couple of these other ones here for a frame of reference. Uh, the toughest Power 5 non-conference schedule goes to your – Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets. Yeah. Um, now, this is interesting for a guy who's on the hot seat in Jeff Collins, but um, they're coming off three consecutive three-win seasons. They'll get number 21 Ole Miss at home in the third week of the season. Then they'll turn around and play UCF. Um, and then, of course, the uh, regular annual end-of-the-year game against Georgia that, well, in Athens is probably going to be what they would call a bloodbath. <laughs> By that point in time, who knows if Jeff Collins is even coaching uh, Georgia Tech. If not, he might be gone shortly thereafter. Quick word from our friends at Coffee AM. You guys have heard me tell you about them every single day. Why? Their coffee is amazing. Uh, there is no other way to describe it. They are a local small batch roaster here. That just does some of the best work uh, in all of America. You get the freshest coffee. Why? Because most of their coffees 
or roasted and shipped on the same day or close to it. And they only roast current crops, specialty grade coffee, huge selections from around the world, organic, fair trade, direct trade, expertly crafted blends, espressos, and flavored coffees, as well as gourmet teas and more. Uh, and it's roasted right here in your backyard. Go to coffeeam.com backslash locked on today and take a look at their full menu of coffees, teas, and gift sets. That's coffeeam.com backslash locked on. Use the coupon code locked on to get 15% off at checkout of your first order of coffees, teas, and gift sets. Coffee AM, the best small batch coffee roaster in America. And it's right here in Georgia. It's really good stuff, guys. I promise you. I'm not, I'm not joking around. I, I wouldn't consider myself a coffee connoisseur, but I, I know what's good coffee versus bad coffee, and, and Coffee AM is legit good coffee. Uh, also, more on Georgia Tech. Toughest open to this season. They get that. Um, Georgia Tech opens the season on Monday, September 5th at uh, against Clemson, rather, at Mercedes-Benz Stadium. Of course, you know, you're going to see more Clemson fans there probably. Um, after a short week to get ready for Western Carolina at home, the Jackets move on to Ole Miss, um, and then they get UCF to close out September. Uh, and then two weeks into October, they pace number 15 pit. So it brutal, absolutely brutal. Not now again, if Jeff Collins can steal a win in one of those, it might turn the tide of things for him. Um, I don't know how likely that is, but still it is very much a, um, a very, very tough start. Toughest road schedule this year goes to Auburn. Um, he Auburn is the only team in the SEC West that has to visit both number one Alabama and number three Georgia. There's a trip to Ole, number 21 Ole Miss after the Georgia game and a November tri 5th trip to Mississippi State. Will, by the way, rallied from a 28 to 3 deficit um, to win on the Plains last season. So, uh, the good news for the Tigers, they have eight home games, including their first five at Jordan Air, Jordan Air, Jordan Air, Jordan Hare Stadium. So, uh, Auburn could be, again, this is why I talk about the SEC West in a big state of flux this year uh, and a lot of things changing. And Brian Harson does not have a uh, an easy go of things. Easiest home schedule in America belongs to the Georgia Bulldogs. <laughs> the opener against number 16 Oregon is a true home game, although it's at Mercedes-Benz Stadium. But after that, only one top 25 team comes to Athens, and that's Tennessee, who is currently ranked number 24. And they might not even be a top 25 team when Georgia faces them. So Georgia certainly has a, a very, very good path uh, going forward. So I thought that those are some interesting things about um, the college football season this year. And oh, by the way, if you're into college football and into college basketball, I'm sure you're going to want to watch Kansas play at Duke this year. No, you're not. It's going to be a bad football game, to say the least. But when they play basketball, it's a good game. So there's that. You know, make it that what you will. Um, but I'm excited for college football to get back, just like the NFL. We're inching closer and closer. The calendar is going to turn to August here, and uh, uh, it's going to be right on top of us. And, of course, yes, I'm very excited to start betting on football this year. It's going to be a lot of fun. Very, very excited about it. <laughs> we'll spend some time here on A to Z uh, with picks every single week. So uh, get ready for it, folks. Get your pens and paper out. We'll try to make us some money. All right, that'll do it for us on this Wednesday. Uh, back tomorrow, it'll be my last day of vacation uh, from parts unknown. I'll be back in Atlanta on Friday. Excited to get back home. But certainly appreciate you guys bearing with me and joining me here every single day on A to Z. You guys have a great day. Don't take a crap from anybody. See ya.